Welcome to AES. Today we're going to show you the Remora FS filter set, what actually comes inside the box with the equipment and uh, also more importantly how it all goes together. So starting here we have the multiport valve. This uh, comes in the box with the unions, the pressure gauge, um, etc. So everything's there and we'll come back to that in a minute. Then we've got the pump, which is already mounted on the uh, filter skid here, so it comes as one piece. Um, we've also got the pre-wired 13 amp plug, which comes with an RCD. And more importantly, there's the little gap here between the plug and the RCD. This is designed so that it can fit into an outside waterproof socket and be watertight. Then we've got the hose. This, this is the piece that will go off the top of the pump into the multiport valve, and we'll show you that in a bit. Then we have the instructions with a socket here, which is the one that goes on the front of the pump, and it's actually a double-stepped socket. So the first part of the socket is 50 mil metric, and the second part of the step socket is 48.3 mil, inch and a half pressure pipe, so we can go on to either. Then we have the O-ring. This is the one that will fit on the neck of the filter, which goes between the multiport valve and the filter body. And then inside, we'll see you'll see the plastic insert. This is quite important to keep hold of because we use this when we're filling with sand. And then let me show you inside. You can see the rising piece of pipe connected to the bottom with the laterals. This is where the water is drawn through and filtered up into the multiport valve. Um, that is the, if you've got the 350 filter set, then you get this size one without the laterals, with just a distribution head. And then last of all, what we've got on the bottom here is the drain port valve. This is for winterization, allows us to drain the water out of the filter and get it prepared ready for winter. So now we're going to show you the multiport valve. Um, so we're going to take the multiport valve out of the box and we've got the main multiport valve itself with the handle on top. Uh, underneath is the distribution side with a recess and an O-ring which is where the centre pipe inside the filter goes in that sits on top of the filter. We also have the clamp ring which is the one that bolts together around the neck of the filter. This is used to create a seal between the multiple valve itself and the filter body. We also have the service ring for the multiple valve. That slides over and sits on there. That allows us to undo the multiple valve if we ever need to service it. And then we have the multiple unions. Uh, these are double stepped, like the one that was on the front of the pump. So first part of the socket is 50 mil. Second part is 48.3 mil imperial pressure pipe inch and a half and we also have the o-rings the pressure gauge and the sight glass as well so first of all we're going to start by taking one of the union rings uh, sorry the union couplers and putting the o-ring on then we can put that into the female port of the multiple valve uh, do that up hand tight until that o-ring is uh, nicely compressed between the two to create a seal then we've got the half union which we're going to put on next this goes into the top valve on this side and the reason it's a half union is because the other part of the union is actually on the hose that we saw earlier and the o-ring is inside the hose piece and the closure ring allows it to spin and join onto the half union. If we turn the multiple valve round and then put the other union coupler, the last one, this is the waste port where we're going to have the water going out when we're doing a backwash and also the sight glass. So the sight glass has a O-ring that we put into the hole first and then we hand tighten the sight glass to create a seal against the O-ring. This is so we can see the colour of the water during a backwash. Last of all we've got the pressure gauge. It's a liquid filled pressure gauge so it's very accurate. To put that in we need to undo the plug on the multiport valve and then we can thread the pressure gauge in until it's uh, sealed up against the O-ring that's on the male thread behind the pressure gauge. And uh, as you can see, it'll be uh, a little bubble in the top where it's liquid filled, and this gives it an accurate reading.
If you've purchased one of our flexible hose tail adapter kits, this is where we're going to show you how that works. So essentially everything else is the same, but we're going to change the connectors on the inlet. And here we're going to use the glued version of the hose tail, which uh, can be glued into the socket. That's why we have the WDF glue included. Glue on this piece into the socket, and then we're able to stick a flexible hose onto the hose tail and jubilee down using the hose tail, uh, the hose clip, sorry. And uh, finally, we have two other hose tails which are threaded, and these allow us to remove the glued unions that we supply with the filter set. Um, and they just thread out and then we can thread directly into the multiport valve with the multi-stepped hose tail that we've just provided in the hose tail adapter kit and now we've got a hose tail connection on there too and the same for the waste port as well so uh, we can just undo the union and this comes out completely like the other one and then we can put the hose tail directly into the multiple valve and the little gasket behind the flange head just seals when we go hand tight. And that's the set now prepared with hose tail connections for flexible hose pipe straight on the front here and also on the return to the pool and on the waste side.